I am proud of the electrical industry, of its vision, courage, zeal, and devotion to the public service, and I suspect every American feels the same way about it. Is civilization not so a minority depending on the labor of masses of slaves or serfs, but a real civilization of benefit to all the members of the human Sixty-five years ago, about sixty-five years ago, I came across the ocean from England to the United States, the family settling in Philadelphia. There's a modification of the original cathode ray tube described by Lenard in 1894. This particular tube was designed for operation at 350,000. So we put it in, uh, and uh, in, in 1917 we installed it, and then the war was on, and it was taken over for communication with the Amish in France. that however much we know, we may still increase our knowledge. I enjoy watching thoughts operate, particularly against discouragements. When the research laboratory started here at General Electric in 1900, it was a daring experiment, a laboratory in industry intended to advance man's knowledge and understanding of the sciences. The experiment has grown beyond our dreams. I was told that chemical elements, such as iron or copper, were made up of atoms, and that substances like sugar or water were made up of groups of atoms called molecules. In the last few years, we found that we can transfer these thin layers of uh, thin films or single layers of molecules from the water surface onto a uh, metal or glass plate. You'll see that the reflection is troublesome from the uncoated glass on this side, but it's not at all troublesome from this lens over as far as this line of demarcation. When I turn my head away from the light, both lenses appear the same. <laughs> 